Good day everyone. Our topic for today is all about slope-intercept form. So let's start. Determine the slope and y-intercept the following equation. So meron tayong tatlong given. Now, paano mahanap yung slope and y-intercept? Recall natin yung formula para sa slope-intercept form. And this is equal to y equals to mx plus b. Now, for example, kung nakaganito ng form yung ating equation, like y is equal to 6x minus 1, mabilis natin makikita ano ba yung slope. Yung slope kasi, yun yung kasama ng variable x. Okay? Or simply yung numerical coefficient ng variable na merong x. So in this case, yung slope natin, yun yung 6 kasi yun yung katabi ng x. Okay? Next, yung y-intercept naman, siya yung constant. In this case, Yung constant natin ay negative 1 kasi minus 1 yan. Therefore, yung ating y-intercept o yung b is equals to negative 1. And we're done. So, ano yung kailangan natin gawin dito? Ang goal natin, magawa natin as y is equals to mx plus b. Kapag nagawa natin yun, makukuha na agad natin yung slope at saka yung y-intercept. Okay, so make sure lang na ito ay y lang, hindi siya negative y, hindi siya 3y, hindi siya 4y, and so on and so forth. Kailangan y lang. Example number 1. So rewrite natin as 3y is equals to negative 5x minus 9. Ilipat natin sa kabila lahat yung merong x at saka yung constant. Next, kailangan y lang yung matira dito, so divide natin lahat by 3. This becomes y is equals to negative 5x over 3 and then minus 3. Nandito na tayo sa form na y is equals to mx plus b. In this case, yung slope natin is negative 5 over 3. Ito yung mga number na kasama ng variable x natin. Next, yung y-intercept naman natin is negative 3, therefore we're done. Yung slope natin is negative 5 over 3 and yung ating y-intercept o yung dadaanan sa y-axis is negative 3. And that's it. Next, example number 2. Simplify natin. Distribute lang natin. Kapag may parenthesis, ito ay multiplication. So, kailangan lang natin i-distribute. So, magiging 3 times x is 3x. 3 times y is 3y. 6 times y is 6y. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12x, and then copy 2x. Next, combine similar terms or combine like terms. Pero yung mga variable x, lipat sa kabilang side, at iiwan natin sa left side yung merong y. So, magiging 9y is equals to negative x plus 12. Next, since may kasama pa yung variable y, i-divide natin lahat. So, this becomes 9y over 9 equals to negative x over 9 plus 12 over 9. Next is to simplify. Kailangan palagi naka lowest term. Okay? This equals to y equals to negative x over 9 plus 4 over 3. In this case, nandun na tayo sa form na y equals to mx plus b. Therefore, yung ating slope is negative 1 over 9. Ito yung kasama ng ating variable x. Kung mapapansin, sir, wala naman pong 1 doon. Bakit nagkaroon ng 1? Meron po yung imaginary 1. Ito ay 1 times x. Okay? Kaya yung slope natin is negative 1 over 9. How about yung y-intercept? Yung y-intercept natin is 4 over 3. And example number 2, we're done. Example number 3. So, ano gagawin natin dito? Cross multiply. Since meron tayong dalawang fraction both side. So, we have... 15x plus 15 is equals to 3y minus 1. So, 3 times 5x plus 5 and 3y minus 1 multiplied by 1. Next, simplify natin. Yung y sa left side, lahat ng x saka yung variable sa right side. So, magiging negative 3y, lipat ng 3y sa kabila, negative 3y equals to yung 15x sa kabilang side. So, magiging negative 15x. 15 lipat sa kabila magiging minus 15, negative 1 minus 15 is negative 16. Next, divide both side, lahat by negative 3. Bakit negative 3? Kasi kailangan y lang yung nandito sa left hand side. 
So, magiging negative 3y over negative 3 equals to negative 15x over negative 3 minus 16 all over negative 3. Simplify more. We have y equals to 5x plus 16 over 3. Bakit sir naging plus? Kasi po, negative over negative is positive. Negative over negative is positive. Negative 3 saka negative 3, cancel out. Therefore, yung slope natin is 5 and yung ating y-intercept is 16 over 3 and we're done.